We got a fight between Tangerine and one of the Sukamires. And Tangerine absolutely destroys it. Was it hungry? Well, it doesn't matter now, it's dead. What's going on guys, and welcome back to Dinosaurs in the Snow. Last we left off, one of the species we added in was Iguanodon. Looking cool, and a Patasaurus as well. And for carnivores, I think we added in Carnotaurus, Cryolophosaurus, and um, another one, like Scorpius Rex and Dinonychus. How are the Dinonychus doing? They should be doing good. I gave these guys some herbivore or carnivore feeders, the Seggy source, so they'd have food. A lot more spread out now. We got a lone Draco Rex kind of just walking by himself. All right. Without further ado, let's get on with the dinosaurs, starting with the herbivores. Herbivore number one, what will it be? Cintalsaurus, all right. What's herbivore number two? Huayungasaurus, all right. Herbivore number three. Dreadnoughtus, okay. That's herbivore number three. Herbivore number four. Diplodocus, okay. Herbivore number five. Cynoceratops. And herbivore number six. Euoplocephalus. All right, so for the six herbivores, we've got Cintalsaurus, Huayungasaurus, Dreadnoughtus, Diplodocus, Cynoceratops, and Euoplocephalus. All right, perfect. So that's everything hatched up and, uh... Well, hatching, anyway. So we'll start, I guess, with Cintalsaurus. Let's throw those in first. Filling this up with herbivores. All right, so that's Dreadnoughtus being thrown in. Or, sorry, um, Cintalsaurus. Let's move on to Cynoceratops. There we go, that's Cynoceratops done. Let's let them exit. Oh, don't do a social interaction. Yeah, you, they're doing a social animation. All right, we should be able to release Diplodocus now. Let's release Diplodocus. Can't really see, because it's nightfall. All right, we'll let the Diplodocus release. And while we wait for them, let's start releasing the other side. Quayungasaurus first. I think this is our second Stegosaur. I do believe. Stegoceratops doesn't count because it's a hybrid. We got the smaller cousin of Stegosaurus. Let's go. Alright, so that's Huayungasaurus done. Let's move on to Euoplocephalus. I think this is our first Ankylosaur, if I'm not mistaken. Adding more variety. Alright, so that's Euoplocephalus done. Let's finally move on to the Dreadnoughtus. Probably the largest creature in here now. And the only Dominion Dreadnoughtus on here. There's the Carnotaurus walking by. Dreadnoughtus doesn't seem too big compared to the Carnotaurus, does it? Oh, no, never mind. It was probably just the angle. 
All right, so that's the first Dreadnoughtus. Let's take a look at the Evolution Dreadnoughtus for a minute, because we never get to see this. Now, which version of the Dreadnoughtus do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the Evolution Dreadnoughtus, or do you prefer the Dominion Dreadnoughtus? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so that's the second Dreadnoughtus, and let's release the third Dreadnoughtus. While the third Dreadnoughtus is releasing, let's move on to the Carnivores. Alright, Carnivore number one is... Tarbosaurus, okay. Our first real apex predator. Alright, what's carnivore number two? Utahraptor, another one that appears on here on a regular basis. Alright, carnivore number three. Baryonyx, okay, that sounds good. And carnivore number four. Suchomimus, okay. So, for the carnivores, we've got Tarbosaurus, Utahraptor, Baryonyx, and Suchomimus. All right, we'll have four of each for the Baryonyx and four of each for the Suchomimus. All right, so the Apatosaurs have kind of made their way over to the river here. All right, let's release the Utah Raptors first. I think the Diplodocus are kind of in the way. All right. Utahraptor has been released. The Diplodocus is kind of blocking the hatchery. Uh, if you guys could kindly get out the way so we could release the Tarbosaurs, that'd be great. Alright, I think that's good. Release the Tarbosaurs. Our first real apex predator. Not quite T-Rex, but it will do. Tarbosaurus will really have some real competition with the herbivores here. Maybe it'll even make its way over to the other side. Who knows? All right, let's release the the four, the two Spinosaurs, the Suchomimus and the the Baryonyx. Baryonyx first. So that's Baryonyx being released. And let's move on to Suchomimus. All right. Now that that's done, let's switch everything over. All right. Now everything should be in combat mode. Now. And yep, this whole island is really filling up now. We got Diplodocus who made their way over here. I think the Utah Raptors are kind of getting used to their environment. And then, where'd the Tarbosaurs go? We got a fight between Tangerine and Waffle, the two Carnotaurs. Two Dinonicus duking it out. Two Gigantoraptors duking it out already. They always start with the same species. And then they'll move on to different species afterwards, I guess. We got... I think we got some Styracosaurs still remaining. We got one. Two. One that's like all the way over here. Three. Only three left. Good to know. Alright, we got a fight between Triceratops and Thunderstorm. The last remaining... The last remaining Cryolophosaurus. Does get a hit in. 60% against 89%. Yeah, the Triceratops is definitely winning that fight. We got the two Iguanodons duking it out. The Carnotaurs will probably go after the Dreadnoughtus, I imagine. We got the two Huayungasaurs duking it out. Thunderstorm is calling off his fight, running away. The last living Cryolophosaurus. Two Euoplocephalus duking it out. And you're kind of going next to an Iguanodon. Which is just lying around whenever. We still got some Struffies left, I do believe. I don't know where the Tarbosaurs went. We got the Baryonyx and Suchomimus kind of just 
you know, chilling. We got the two Tarbosaurs duking it out, for whatever reason. They're all the way over here. Oh no, they've made their way kind of to the thing. Okay, so there is a chance that certain dinosaurs... Yeah, like this Taurosaurus. This Taurosaurus has actually made its way to the, to the river. Like, you'll be seeing dinosaurs mingle with one another. I do see Goldie. Goldie is still alive and well. How many scars do you have? Let's see what your stats were. Six wins, three losses, and one kill. And you have, how many scars do you have? You're 18, and you have five scars. So you've been in a lot of fights. Now, if the Baryonyx and Sukumimus make it over here, they'll have to compete with the Dinochirus. Oh, we got Stegoceratops versus Tarbosaurus. 100% against 100%. We'll have to see who gets the first hit in. Now, I don't think either of the Tarbosaurs have a strong trait. So this should be interesting. Unless these two... Yep, they're calling it off. They've changed their mind, it looks like. Ouch. 76% against 100%. And I just realized the Huayungasaurus' hurt is just the sped-up version of the Stegosaurus. How tiny it is compared to the Uapocephalus. They're calling off their fight. It's only a matter of time before the Sukumimus get hungry and want to start fights. We got a fight between a Deinonychus and a Utah Raptor. Look at how big the Utah Raptor is compared to this guy. Yep. Absolutely destroyed. Now we got a few strong Utah Raptors. So we'll have to see what goes on here. Alright, creatures are dying left and right. There's the last living concavenator. You're, you have a strong trait. You have one scar, three losses, and no wins. Yet you're still surviving. Let's go. Let's call you Underdog. You can be Underdog, the concavenator. We'll have to keep track of you. We got a fight between two Cynoceratops. That's to be expected. We got a fight between Gage and a Spinoceratops. We haven't seen you in a good bit. It's a matter of who wins this first fight, or who gets the first hit in. I kind of like this Spinoceratops. This is the first one. Oh yeah, Gage gets the first hit in. We got a fight between Max Horridus and Grapefruit. Now, if we remember, Max Horridus one-shot at a Stegosaurus at the end of last episode. I think you got the first hit in. Yep, you did. Though Grapefruit does get a hit in. 86% against 66%. They do another little dance, and they might call this one off. Yep. 32% against 73%. You're definitely the alpha of the Triceratops clan. We got a fight between Thunderstorm and an Iguanodon. I don't know what might happen here. 100% against 100%. Thunderstorm does get the first hit. That's cool. Followed by a hit from the Iguanodon. Another hit from Thunderstorm. Alright, they each landed two hits. So they're pretty evenly matched. We got 45% against 64%. Yeah, Thunderstorm won that fight. Let's see, what's your record like? One win, one loss. Alright, Waffle has begun to hunt down Mars. Oh, the Dreadnoughtus. I forgot I named you Mars. I think the Carnotaurus and Sukumimus will fight each other. It looks like one's about to fight them right now. We got a fight between Tangerine and one of the Sukumimus. And Tangerine absolutely destroys it. Was it hungry? Well, it doesn't matter now. It's dead. All right, we got the Sukumimus. They made their way over to the fish. I can't believe Tangerine completely one-shotted that Sukumimus. Oh my god, okay. 
absolutely destroyed. The Baryonyx might want to watch out. We got Tarbosaurus hunting down a Diplodocus. We've got a U Utahraptor going up against a Megalosaurus. Utahraptor can stand up to them. <gasps> Lonely! No! The Microceratus died to this Utahraptor. We got a fight between Waffle and a Supermimus. It seems like this Supermimus is standing up to Waffle. You do have a strong and defensive trait. We got Goldie going up against a Spinoceratops and killing it! Wait, this is the same one that fought Gage earlier. I was gonna name you, but you died. That's a shame. And now Goldie's hunting down an Apatosaurus. What's your record like? Seven wins, three losses. We got Gage going up against another Spinoceratops. We'll have to see who gets the first hidden. What's your record? Gage gets the first hidden. Seven wins and no losses. Yeah, you're kind of a boss. You kind of are a boss. Meanwhile, we've got Serato Buster going up against another Stegosaurus. 34%. Didn't even get a single hidden. It's not looking too good for the Spinoceratops. We already had one die to Goldie. The second one just died to a Stegosaurus, which means... Serato... This guy is the last of his kind. Serato Buster's dead. This guy's almost dead. Died to Gage. Almost died to Gage. We got one that died to Goldie. And then Serato Buster died to another Stegosaur. Meanwhile, we've got Thunderstorm going up against another Ankylosaurus. Or, sorry, Iguanodon. 70% against 30%. Thunderstorm won that. Okay, Thunderstorm is kind of doing well. Two wins, one loss. You're doing good. You are doing good. Alright, we got a Utah Raptor hunting down a Segisaurus, it looks like. We got a Tarbosaurus about to go up. We got Goldie going up against an Iguanodon. 100% against 100%. They're calling it off, all right. We got a Dreadnoughtus kind of just standing there minding his own business. Poor Serato Buster. We got the two Carnos, Tangerine and Waffle. They hate each other's guts. We got a Megalosaurus going up against a Pachyrhinosaurus. I didn't know we still had Pachyrhinosaurus. They were in the first episode, and now this is episode four. How many Pachyrhinosaurs do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. No, all five of them are still alive. All five of them are still alive. That's good. Anyway, we got another Tarbosaurus just chilling. Stegoceratops against Tarbosaurus. 100% against 100%. We got Grapefruit going up against... Oh no, Grapefruit just killed Underdog. The last remaining Concavenator, and now they've officially gone extinct. Alright, let's see what the other... What's the other Tarbosaur doing? Alright, 34% against 71. Yeah, it's not looking too good for this Torosaur. Hold on, we've got Gage fighting a Baryonyx, it looks like. 65% against 100%. See, it looks like Gage got the first hit in. The Baryonyx, it's not looking too good for him, though. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. 31% against 86%. We'll have to see what happens here. Oh, the Baryonyx does land a hit in. But yeah, Gage definitely won that fight. There's no doubt about that. Meanwhile, we've got a Struthiomimus being hunted down by a Utah Raptor. How many Struthies do we have left? Do we have any Struthies left? Let me take a look. Struthiomimus. Hold on, let me uh, non-filter that. Struthiomimus. Struthiomimus. We are down to four. There are still four of them left. That's good anyway. All right. Got a Megalosaurus minding its own business. We've got a Utah Raptor, which I think just got into a fight with a Megalosaurus. We got Tangerine going up against Thunderstorm. Oof. 
66% against 100%. Not looking too good for Thunderstorm. Are you strong? You are strong and fit. They do call off their fight, though. Which is great, I guess. We got Waffle going up against another Sukumimus. Ouch. All right, we got 74% against 100. So yeah, Waffle is winning that fight. It all depends on who gets the first hit in. They're calling off their fight, it looks like. Wow, a lot is going on. There's been a lot that went on in this episode, and I'm starting to like it, you know? The first few episodes, nothing really goes on, but once you get to episode 4 and 5, that's when things get interesting. Alright. We got a Gigantoraptor fighting a Huayangasaurus. One-shotting it. We've got a Stegosaurus going up against Goldie. Goldie lands the first hidden. You have seven wins, three losses. Megalosaurus going up against a Utah Raptor in the background. I think Goldie has one. Yep. We got a Dinonychus hunting down a Segisaurus. Two Dinonychus going up against each other. We got Gage kind of just minding his own business. Nine wins and no losses. That's incredible. That is incredible. We got Quenched, Fit, Long Lived, Tolerant, and Strong. You know, I'm going to take a screenshot of those traits. Oh, right, we got a Utahraptor going up against a Dinonychus. We got Waffle hunting down a Dryosaurus. Another Dinonychus just died to a Utah Raptor. These guys are pretty strong. We got Max Horridus fighting another Triceratops, probably for alpha dominance. What are your traits? Uh, why are you starving? Why are you starving? We got a fight between Triceratops and Goldie, but let me just pause that for a minute, because I don't want to miss that. Oh, it's nearby. Okay, good, good. All right, what are you missing out on? I mean, you got everything you need. Why are you starving to death? All right, I want to see this fight go down between Triceratops and Goldie. I think the Triceratops landed the first hit. We got Grapefruit going up against a Sukumimus in, in the background. Ouch. Goldie's at 67%. We got a Spinoceratops going up against a Baryonyx. 65% against 100%. Grapefruit won his fight with that Sukumimus. We got two Triceratops doing a social. Yeah, it's getting a bit crowded in the river. We got sauropods. We got. Oh, I know why Mars is starving. Because Tangerine won't leave him the hell alone. That's why. Yeah, you're drinking. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, Mars is kind of starving to death. It's not looking too good. We got a lone Sukumimus that's just chilling over here. We got a Tarbosaurus hunting down. I believe that's a Draco Rex. It's a Draco Rex. You just jumped up the hill. That's that's cool. I don't think I don't think a dinosaur could do that in real life though. Meanwhile, we still got two of the Niger sores kind of just chilling over here. I think they've got all the food in the world. They've got all the They've got everything they could possibly want. They're away from the carnivores. We got a Centausaurus that's over here. We got a couple of Centaurs over here wandering the place. We got a Utahraptor kind of just wandering over here. All right, we got Grapefruit going up against another Sukumimus. I think that, yeah, that Sukumimus is done for. Killed by Grapefruit. Yep. I figured that would happen. Yeah, Mars is just starving to death. Ugh, that's a shame. It's because, it's because Tangerine here won't leave him the hell alone. See? Oh, I think that's Waffle. Waffle going up against a Super Minus, I think. 
Or is this a fake out? Yeah, it's a fake out. All right, cool. All right. I think, I think this is a good place to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.